Hey everyone, welcome back to a, another episode. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Ugg Tasman Slipper in the chestnut colorway. Let's get into it. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. My name is Jess from writtenbyjess.com and I make videos and written blog post content about sneakers and lifestyle products. So if you like that kind of content, then please consider hitting the subscribe button right down below. I appreciate your support. And to those who are back, and thank you for sticking around for another one. Today, we're going to be doing the review, my review of the Ugg Tasman slippers. I've been wanting to review this for a very long time, but as you know, they are super popular probably because of TikTok uh, and Ugg has had them on back order for many, many, many months. I opted to purchase them from somewhere else because they had my size in stock. So let's go over some of the details for this slipper. So in Canadian dollars, the price for this is $135 and in USD, that is $110 in America. The colorway for this is chestnut. So a nice brown colored look here. And the item number for this is 5955. Let's talk a little bit about the background in history. So as you know, Ugg is super famous and well known for their sheepskin boots. And in the 1960s, surfers would actually wear these boots after they surfed to warm up their feet because they're super cold and wet. And I guess this thing, the sheepskin absorbs it really, really well. And so that's kind of how it became really popular. And then in 1970, an Australian man named Brian, I believe, uh, created the line and it is what it is today. So the Tasman slippers, I'm not really sure when the Tasman slippers actually released, but they are well known for being super light and also being really comfortable along with quality materials such as suede and sheepskin wool. In terms of materials and features, this is what is featured in the Tasman slipper. It is made of suede upper, foam footbed, sugarcane EVA outsole, or tread light by Ugg EVA outsole. I'm not really sure what the difference is between these two when they say or. I don't know if it's either or for the shoe or just depends on which colorway. I'm not really sure. I wasn't able to find any information on this. There is sheepskin wool lining that helps to prevent stickiness and dampness when you wear them, a heat embossed Ugg logo, an embroidered braid around the ankle, ultra lightweight, durable outsole, and easy to slip on and off. In terms of sizing, I went half a size up from my true to size. So my true to size is typically an 80 and a half woman's and I went up to a size nine because there are no half sizes for this slipper. So just keep that in mind. I think this is a good fit for me, even though some people said it was a little bit big for them. I couldn't imagine going half a size down in this. And so I typically wear these with socks. So it fits perfectly for me. If you're a type of person who likes to wear thicker socks, I would su suggest that you may want to go up at least one size up from your true to size so that you are feeling comfortable while wearing the Tasman slippers with thicker socks. Just a reminder that the sheepskin wool will actually wear down as you wear them. So keep that in mind as well in terms of sizing. In terms of comfort, I would say these slippers are actually super comfy, especially just to wear around the house. And the nice little sheepskin wool is super cozy as well, making it really comfortable on the feet. In terms of my overall review, are these worth the hype that people are saying on TikTok? And I would say I personally really like them. I had to kind of grow to like the actual silhouette of the slipper. I don't mind it actually at all. I just don't like this middle line here personally. I've grown to kind of like it a little bit. And to be honest with you, I am just wearing this in indoors as a house slipper really, especially during the colder months of fall, winter, and early spring. And they have been keeping my feet really nice and toasty, but not too toasty. They don't get super hot at all, which is really, really good. And I appreciate that because I don't like sweaty feet. 
and you know they've been serving me really well and I've been wearing them for quite some time now. I will say that I've been wanting these for a few months like all the way back in 2023 but they've also been on back order just because they've been super popular on social media so i actually didn't buy them from ugg i bought them from a different retailer and was able to purchase it from there but all in all i do like these slippers very lightweight nice slipper to have when you are at home has a lot of durability on it as well so i could see people wearing these outside i do see people wearing them outside and I can see why they wear it. It seems like, you know, your typical Ugg outsole here. It's pretty thick as well. So I think you can wear them for a little while. Upon first wear, they do feel a little bit weird because your heel kind of sticks out here, halfway in and halfway out on the slipper, but that's something that you get really used to. And I do like that when your foot is in the actual slipper, it feels really nice snug fit where I don't feel like my foot is going to come out of the slipper because I was debating whether to get the Tasman slipper or the I think the scuffette is what it's called I was debating between the two the scuffette has a little bit of an open heel which I thought I would prefer but I really like this so far and I would probably just keep these as opposed to just getting a regular like slipper, house slipper that you typically see. The only negative that I see about this slipper is that the inside of it is really light wool and I do foresee it getting pretty <laughs> dirty as you wear it. I guess you're just gonna have to keep them clean as you wear them. And you know, even if you look now, you can kind of see all the little I don't know if you can see it but there's some black things in there uh, maybe you can see a little bit better here but you can see all the little fluffs in there uh, probably just from your socks or something like that but I do think that this will eventually get a little bit dirty over time I think would be the only negative for me other than that I would say these slippers are super comfy the best you know house slipper I've had and I think they will last a pretty long time. I personally just won't wear them outside of the house. However, I do think that I may possibly wear them if I were going on a long trip to like going to the airport and taking a flight. I think these would be actually super cozy, easy on and off slipping while traveling. So that might be the only scenario where I might wear these outside of the house. Obviously a different pair because I don't wear outdoor shoes inside of my home, but just a thought that I had, uh, I might wear these while I am traveling, but I do see other people wearing them outside. And if you like to wear them outside, then you wear them outside. Uh, you do you and just uh, wear them if you're comfortable and wear them indoors if you like to as well. But for me, I will be uh, sticking to indoors for now for this pair. Very comfy. I think it's, I guess, worth the hype to answer your question. Uh, and I really like it. The price is a little expensive for a house slipper, I would say. Uh, so definitely, I'm sure there are other ones that you can get for a lot cheaper. I did hear or see some dupes uh, that people were wearing and they were like a fraction of the cost, which is like $35, which is amazing. Maybe I'll check them out and do a comparison one day. But that's going to do for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next video. Enjoy the on foot b-roll in the next clips. Peace. Bye.
Hey everyone, thanks for checking out today's video. Please consider subscribing to see more content just like this. There is always more to see on my blog at www.writtenbyjust.com. Thank you for all your support and we'll catch you in the next one.